more challenging days we've had lately to trade. The markets just are determined to go nowhere. And we were down today 58.25 on the 250K portfolio, down 12.75 on the 50K portfolio. And the drawdown is at 63.30 hypothetically and 66.75. Last equity peak was May the 1st. That was on Monday. And we had a small loser on Tuesday. We didn't trade yesterday. Yesterday, the strategies were down 2,500, so it helped not to trade. And then today, uh, minus 58.25, just really hard price action. Uh, down on the week, 64.36, down on the month. And we were up 38K on the year. And this is the old portfolio that we transitioned away from. It was down 58.90 today. We have about... Uh, nine more strategies so opening choppers are struggling let's go over the trades on the day this is the old portfolio this is the new portfolio um, you know apple earnings are out after the bell as well here is the nasdaq here is the vix the vix you know traded down here uh, at the lows on monday at around 1550 now it's popped up to 20 which is still relatively low to where we've been over the last few years and you see the Nasdaq this is with Apple earnings out uh, market was waiting a long time on the Fed yesterday chopped around waiting on Apple earnings chopped around not really making any significant moves just chop and let's look at it on a shorter time frame you can see what I'm talking about let's look at a one minute chart and you can just see um, you know just in this range you know no big moves up or down Hard to determine where this market's going to go. Here's what it looks like 24 hour session. You know, the session started here yesterday about 24 hours ago. Market rallied, rolled over, market opened the day session and just chopped around, um, going nowhere fast. Um, and so you can see these moves. And so um, if you expand it, sometimes you can see it better like this. So just uh, very hard to figure out where the market's going to go. The VIX is um, in range bound as well, just kind of divergent, divergent range bound. Let's look at the 60 minute again. You can see the divergent range bound. Take out the lows, take out the highs, take out the highs, take out, is it going to take out these lows now? Um, what is the trend going to be? It's hard to determine at this point. Uh, VIX crush, uh, volatility crush, range crush seems to be the trade right now, which is hard to trade. Um, Cobra 3 minus 625. Uh, momentum reversal minus 262.50, minus 625 on tick fader, tick count trend dynamic turnaround did well plus 875, minus 600 on tick count, uh, dynamic pullback, um, opening chop, you know just uh, the market tends to grind slowly one either down or up lately instead of the chop we were seeing for the past year. Um, this opening chop plus 325, this opening chop two, uh, tick chop minus 1025, 1012.50. And then gap continuation in reversal, minus 1,025. And NASDAQ strategies, Cobra 3 stopped out. You know, it's just one of those days where it keeps reversing on our net position. As soon as we take a net position, the market keep, uh, keeps reversing in the opposite of that direction. Uh, tick reversal 2023, minus 75. Uh, tick count trend in Q, minus 675, minus 560. Um, and then zigzag had a decent day, uh, two winners, one loser, minus 935. And so um, those those are the trades on the day for our stock index 32 that we've set up to trade since Tuesday. We had some adjustments, um, and we've transitioned into this portfolio setup. And these are the final results on the day. The good news is is that Fridays uh, tend to be strong days in recent. Over the past year, it becomes, it's become a better and better day to trade. Um, and so looking forward to tomorrow's trade. Uh, we've had a, um, I guess, a sideways streak. We did hit equity peaks on Monday. So um, we're looking for a time, we're looking for a scenario where we hit those equity peaks. We, you know, you don't just go, go up and then pull back and draw down and then make equity peaks by just a little bit and then go draw down and then make equity peaks just by a little bit so it's been lately we're trying to you know, hit those equity peaks we did break out of the last last 
Equity peaks, we broke out by 4,700, 4.7K. And so now we pull back. We're just looking to hit those equity peaks and run a little harder, having a big day. But it, this market environment is uh, not very conducive to big gains. Uh, very, very random back and forth price action. So, but looking forward to Friday's trade. Those are the trades on the day for Thursday, May the 4th, 2023. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.